Our ultimate goal is to reduce uh, child abuse and neglect, reduce child fatality, and um, to reduce the number of kids who are leaving their homes and entering care. I think when people see the less obvious situations where there might be a child that comes to school without maybe the right clothes on, uh, they haven't had enough to eat in that morning, um, other situations that present themselves and they think to themselves, what do I do here? So we have a screening unit where we have dedicated professional social workers who are responsible for receiving calls from the community where we receive reports of abuse and neglect and where we're able to take information regarding those calls and then make a decision related to the next appropriate steps. Reporting is not tattling. Reporting isn't snitching. Calls can be made anonymously. Uh, oftentimes, that's easier for some people to make a call anonymously. And that at least gets information um, to somebody who can intervene. If they intervene with a family, they can also provide supports and resources so that family can move on with their life and have the successes that we all want. From the moment that we take the call, we're going to be engaging the caller and talking to them about several aspects about what they may be concerned about. So in addition to asking what are you concerned about, what have you seen or heard, what have you um, experienced, what do you know, we're also going to ask information that helps us locate the family, so demographic information, safety in the home. As much information that the caller can provide us during the initial call helps us both make an appropriate screening call and then helps us make contact with the family once we go out. Every call that is received, every bit of information is reviewed by a supervisor at the department. All of our supervisors have a master's degree in social work and a clinical license in social work, and they are reviewing every call that comes in against legal criteria to determine whether it meets the definition and legal criteria for abuse and neglect. Research has showed us over the years that um, the impact of removing kids from their families is pretty substantial and we can't ignore the long-term outcomes of that. We all have a responsibility in ensuring that kids are safe, but that's not where we want to stop. How do we use this crisis, a call to Child Protective Services, as an opportunity to engage parents in a positive way? It is our intention that children do best in families and do best in their own families. And we're working hard every day with every family, with all of our social workers, to make sure that we're supporting children in their families whenever possible, in as many ways as possible. Keeping families intact and supporting the areas that they might be struggling in is the best possible outcome for kids long term. We often see people at their worst. We see people when they're down and our role at that point is to help walk the journey with them. We need to destigmatize the process. Our goal is to make sure that families feel supported and strong so that they can truly continue to make the best decisions they can and their children can thrive. A call to the child welfare system can be life-saving. If you're concerned about the safety of a child, you don't have to prove it and you don't have to determine what it is. They may not be able to, but you can. Just make the call. You're calling to get this kid and potentially this family some, some help, some support that they need. Terrible things can happen in your life, but really, really great things can happen in your life too. And we can be a part of that.